up. Now moving on to the probably I think the worst aspect of this phone and simultaneously a better aspect of this phone is the software. So this is how I look at it. Okay, with Samsung, the, one of their biggest problems is software, not only software updates, but also the software itself. You know, One UI is still kind of bloated. It doesn't have, you know, I think One UI 3 has been a little bit of improvement, but it's also kind of a downgrade in some ways. Now there's no stock Android for Samsung right now, unless you do the Galaxy Nexus and you can't custom ROM this device. So that's not really a capability for at least the model that I have, and at least for the models that are publicly available. And I think the bigger problem of this is that the hardware is still great. Like you meant, like I mentioned in this video, the screen's beautiful, the hardware is great, the S Pen, all this stuff, but the software is already outdated. It's going to get security updates for a little bit, but Samsung basically extended the next, you know, phones after this, the Note 10 and the S10, they extended the 2019 phones with an extra year. This device did not get that. So this one is already pretty outdated when it comes down to it. And that's something that's kind of sad, you know, when you have a device like this, you don't want it to be outdated. And that's the huge problem. This is the number one issue why I would not recommend picking up a Galaxy Note 9 in 2021. This is the biggest problem with the Note 9. This phone could have the best performance. This phone could have the best camera and all this stuff. But if it's outdated on software, you're not only being led to more security risk, but you're also missing out on a lot of new features that, you know, Google is working hard to pretty much, you know, extend to their devices. And Android, you know, 12 actually is looking to be a pretty big upgrade, you know, from what I've seen visually. The last couple of updates have been pretty much the same terms of visual looking, but in terms of the Android 12 update, it's supposed to be a pretty big thing as you probably saw my other video that I just made. So that again, in and of itself is another big reason why the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 just isn't really maybe that device as it used to be is because of the software. But simultaneously, one of the best things about this device is the battery. This thing has a 4,000 million power battery inside of it. And that is a massive size battery to have on this type of device. This thing is going to last you for a very long time in terms of this, you know, battery life itself. And really, no matter what you do with it, you're going to get a really solid type of battery performance from this thing. And as stated before, that's something that you should always look at when you get a device like this. When you, you know, receive a phone like this and you have this type of battery life, you're expected to have, you know, a certain level of just battery life from it. And again, that is a huge asset for this device. So in terms of the battery life, it gets a thumbs up for me in my books, but the software gets a thumbs down for me in my books. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up. Now, Wendy